everyone and welcome to today's video. I have a very, very special guest that I'm super excited to have a chat to and I'm sure you will be too. I have Dear Jeremy. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. You look fabulous. Just before we start, please tell me what you are wearing. This is Catherine Delicious robe, and it was actually my robe for tour with Dita when I did the heart-shaped bed routine. Some of you might not know, but Gia now has a YouTube channel, and I am happy to say I subscribed this morning and watched your very first video. You try on hold. I loved it. I just love lingerie. I don't know. I was trying to think of things to do as far as social media goes because of the new guidelines and everything. I feel like I've been silenced in a way. I spent years and years building a social media platform and then to be kind of shunned from it and shadow banned, I was like thinking of other ways, you know, to get out there. I've never really given anybody a real personal look into my life. So it's been interesting, like having people see where I live and you know, what I actually sound like because I've never done live. Seems like it's gonna be fun. I'm only looking forward to your next YouTube videos coming up. As soon as I saw your Instagram post, I was like, straight on YouTube, subscribe, <laughs> commenting, watch the whole thing. And the, the Honey Birdette sets you were wearing was just superb as well. And I think also, seeing those sets on different body shapes and larger boobs as well gives you a really great idea of how things might fit on you if you've got a similar body shape. So I found mm -hmm. that as well, because I'm like, oh yes. Like, no, I don't think I've ever worn Honey Burdett, but I was looking at them going, okay, this model is selling these clothes to me. Yeah, their stuff's really cute. It's super sexy. And I agree, like, there are so many brands that don't use girls that have fuller boobs. I mean, most brands only go up to a size like D or double D. It's really hard for me to find lingerie because I'm technically a 30H. I kind of want to find more brands that carry and cater to women like me. This is Sunny. He's my little muffin bear. I have been following your career since early 2014 and have always been a fan, have loved your work. To watch your career progress and all the incredible things you've done from the cover of Playboy to touring around with Dita around the world. Tell me, what is like the highlight of it all? It's hard to say what thing was like the peak thing because everything has been pretty incredible. Like obviously Playboy and Dita. I was living in New York when I was on the cover and I remember getting on the subway and seeing myself on a newsstand, so like I was just like, wow. and then going to the airport to go back to LA or something and seeing myself on the newsstands in the airport, I was just like, wow, this is so surreal. I don't want it to be pornographic. Like that's not really my style. I have no problem with that. I think it's great if that's what you want to do. I try to incorporate like cute little retro or burlesque things into like each one of my videos. So it kind of stays true to what I want to do. And that's kind of what I love about this platform is that I'm doing things that I would have loved to do my entire career. Cause I've shot a million times for free where I styled, I did hair and makeup, I picked locations, like I did a lot. Like I even do most of my editing. And so I was doing all that for free for years building my social media platform so that I get hired for brands. And now I can actually just put all the content out myself and make money, which I think is like the greatest thing. It's kind of like taking the power back from the industry. Thank you so much for coming here and being on my YouTube channel and having a big chat with me. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I would love for us possibly to do something cheeky in the not too distant future. We'll have to see. Ooh. Yes, I think that would be a wonderful idea. We are on the opposite sides of the world. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm sure we can. We're crafty girls. We are. <laughs> and, and maybe our audience might even have some ideas they'd like to leave in the comments down below. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.